most of these are uh, we could find were in the US market where a lot of work is being done on this. So we work with a couple of startups to start to uh, try and solve this problem. But the US market is inherently different from the Indian market because uh, US market, uh, the cars are different, they are bigger uh, and uh, also uh, the accident patterns are different. You have uh, a lot, US is a lot of highways and fast driving so you have very high severity accidents, low frequency but the, once you have the accident it damage is severe. Whereas in India, given the traffic we hardly move. So you have a lot more accidents but many of those are very low severity. You have a bumper scrape or you have a dent in the site. So those are not very, uh, the claim size is not very high, but number of claims you get in this is very uh, large. So the US based uh, startups could not really uh, apply their models, which they were using with uh, insurance companies out there to solve the problems which we were facing uh, in uh, claim management out here. So we looked at uh, Indian startups working in uh, image recognition. Again, the, pro the problem is uh, image recognition for damage vehicles is a very specific kind of use case which is used only by a general insurance company uh, or maybe uh, 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 automobile OEM could use it, but largely a general insurance company would use it. So most of these startups are trying to do more a, a general kind of uh, problem where like face recognition or pattern recognition on a larger scale they are trying to solve. So not many are interested in kind of working on a very specific niche problem. <laughs> So we actually thought that we, we actually then said we'll try and work on this ourselves. And also it's critical to develop an IP in this space because this unlike a normal standard package software, this is core to your own business. You, you are handling claims, you have uh, a large amount of data which we have gathered over a period of so many years of handling so many claims. And if we can apply uh, machine learning AI and AI techniques to this to understand and build a proper model from this data, then it becomes your own IP, which uh, gives you a competitive advantage. So we had our own uh, team work, in-house team work on this, uh, in-house team of data scientists work on this. And uh, they partnered with Microsoft, which provided us a platform to do this on. They, uh, using the Microsoft Azure Cloud, they have a lot of uh, open source software on the cloud, which helps you to uh, do uh, all the, uh, solve these AI problems. Typically, uh, for solving any image recognition problem, uh, the standard technique uses what is called convolutional neural networks. Uh, very complicated term, but very simply, it takes a large image, which is of, we all know, each image made of very, very small pixels, thousands of pixels. It tries to apply machine learning to it and it simplifies the problem for uh, the computer to solve. So, so uh, we use these, uh, this technique and uh, uh, use the, uh, the, uh, the Azure Cloud provide something called a data science virtual machine, which uh, helps you to uh, do all these computations on the cloud in a very fast way, uh, because uh, these models require a lot of iteration. You uh, pass the model, you get a certain accuracy, and you keep uh, needing to rerun the models to improve the accuracy. So uh, with Microsoft, we uh, uh, ran this whole uh, process. We took about to uh, fine tune the accuracy, we took about uh, two to two and a half months uh, in terms of uh, training the uh, uh, models. And now we're at a stage where we can now uh, launch it uh, to uh, our customers. Uh, and uh, and this is the first time any uh, Indian company has tried to apply uh, AI in image learning, uh, so, sorry, AI in image recognition uh, to uh, motor insurance. And we are first using it, uh, like Sanjeev mentioned, uh, to solve the break-in problem. But very soon we will be uh, using this to uh, not only identify whether there is a claim possible, but also the amount of claim. So it's a similar thing which we did for uh, medical claims management uh, earlier, where based on the uh, cashless request, we could not only decide whether the cashless request is approved, but also tell what is the amount of uh, AI, uh, AI, what is the amount of authorization that is approved. Similarly here, what we'll be applying to claims is basically you should be able to go and uh, take pictures of the damaged vehicle with your uh, mobile and immediately you'll get a uh, information saying that this is the amount of claim approved and this is the garage you can go and uh, hand it at. Uh, then right, right now in this uh, current problem, it's just the break-in uh, that is there. And uh, while the model is today capable of uh, segregating out neatly into approved and non-approved, we are right now enabling it to say the cases which are approved, the cases which have some damages will be sent 
to a uh, individual uh, who will take a decision on it because we don't want any customer to suffer in case there is a uh, small damage which gets uh, picked up and which would normally have passed uh, from a uh, from a regular surveyor. So uh, this is this is in short the whole solution. I would ask Amitabh to in detail.